Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we will be painting this beautiful galaxy painting with stars, sailboat, mountains and I'm sure we will all have fun. So let's get started. First thing I did is pre-wet the entire paper and I was careful to wet it evenly and without any puddles. Next thing I'm using Indanthrin blue and painting around the corners and it's really not important what kind of strokes you're making. As you can see, I'm making round strokes. They could be horizontal, they can be vertical, just as you wish, because however it turns out to look at the end, it will be good. If you have some round shapes, round strokes, it will all be good because we're painting a galaxy and the paint, the colors in the galaxy aren't all the same, aren't perfect. There is just this color here, this color there, so it doesn't really matter. Don't bother yourself with that. As you could have seen, next thing I did was using Mother Lake Red Light and with it went into my blues, so I got kind of a violet color. And in the middle of the painting I used Cadmium Yellow Medium and went out also into my Mother Lake Red Light and Violet. So that color did turn out to be a little bit muddy, but it doesn't matter, when it dries it will be nice, it will look like some kind of fogginess in the galaxy. Right now I'm sprinkling some clean water and that will make this beautiful effect and leave those white places in my paint. After a couple of sprinkles I dried my paint partially and then sprinkle again because when the paper gets too wet it won't leave this beautiful effect but it will just make a big puddle. Again after that layer completely dried I went in with a second layer but this time I did not prevent my paper and in the corner I started with indigo then in Dantrin blue then again Mother Lake Red Light, which mixed with Indanthrin Blue and made violet color. And in the middle I used Cadmium Yellow Medium. Same thing I did in the lower part of my painting. And as you could have seen, this time I did not go around, but made the first upper part and then later on the lower part, because the paper is now dry. And if I went all around it, it was just dry in the edges where I did not pre-wet my paper and it would leave those harsh edges and I actually didn't want that. I wanted transitions to be smoother. Next thing I did is sprinkle some mix of Indanthrin Blue and Mother Lake Red Light and also again only clean water. I left it to dry and right now I'm drawing the horizon line, just marking in where the horizon line is going to be. And with a dagger brush I'm painting that horizon line using again mix of Indanthrin Blue and Mother Lake Red Light. After I painted it I'm using only clean water to smudge the edges and to make it a little bit smoother and without any harsh edges. I also used a tissue paper to dry the part where I did wet my paper and part where I didn't, so it doesn't leave that line and it would be visible that there is the part where the paper wasn't wetted again. Next thing I did is paint a couple of lines in the water, just to make it the impression that that is actually water. Right now I'm using indigo and painting some mountains, which are in my horizon line. Again smudging off the lower part of the mountains and leaving the paint to bleed into the water to make it appear as it is a shadow of a mountain. With this old flat brush, which has a very stiff bristles, I am sprinkling now the stars and with it I can make perfect perfect small smaller stars and I love how they look they really do appear like there is thousands and thousands or, or even millions 
of stars and with a round smaller round brush I'm sprinkling some bigger splatters that are maybe some bigger stars maybe some planets maybe some closer stars whatever but just give the impression that there is just a difference and versatility in the stars and planets and those shines that are in my galaxy. I'm moving on now to my sailboat and I did not make a sketch, I did not draw it on my paper, but I'm just freehanding it. I will not try to make it either perfect, it will just look as it is a sailboat and it doesn't have to be perfect, it doesn't have to have the perfect silhouette of a sailboat, but of course if you prefer to make a sketch for yourself, by all means do that, just enjoy, do whatever you like and whatever it makes it easier for you. The point of this painting is to have fun and to enjoy yourself, so please do that and don't bother yourself with anything. This is actually a very fun and easy painting and it doesn't have to be perfect. For the reflection of the sailboat I will go with the same shape but this time I will wiggle my brush and make it uneven without perfect edges but my edges will be uneven, will be wiggly and that is the only difference between my sailboat and the reflection of that sailboat. I decided also to add a couple of more lines to my water and also to a reflection of the mountain and to horizon line. And with that I'll be finishing off this painting and of course this video. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you liked it and if you did please like, share, comment, tell me what you want, what you like, what you maybe didn't like and if you haven't still please subscribe to my channel it would mean a lot to me. I hope I'll see you next time. Bye!